We've pretty much seen everything in the last 24 hours. First, it started off with snow, and it started to accumulate. And then the temperature continued to rise yesterday, so then we saw some rain in the late afternoon. Then it changed back to snow. So we are going to continue to do with that active weather pattern, even for this week. We've got a couple of chances of some snow and then some very cold Arctic air moving into Chicago. Let's take a look at the temperature right now. We are in the mid-20s. As earlier, though, today, we had temperatures right around the lower 30s. Here it is in Chicago, 25, Peoria, 28, Dubuque, 23, but Mason City is at 8, while Sioux Falls is just at 0 right now. That's plenty of cold air in place, and it feels like out there, 10 below in Mason City, 12 below in Sioux Falls. We're doing all right with our wind chill. It is a little bit chillier with a 13. And so we have got temperature changes in this forecast, and we'll be talking about the biggest temperature changes coming on Thursday night into Friday as another clipper comes through and brings in a push of Siberian cold Arctic air. Look at the temperature changes, a good 22 to 27 degree difference already out west. And we've got a couple of systems that will be coming through the area that will bring in some snow. Most of the snow will be around the lake. Winds are out of the north at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, so those winds being out of the north-northwest will continue to keep pretty much the south side with a little bit of some snow showers and around the lake, but we could see just some scattered flurries. And then we do have a bigger system that is already making its way into the central plains that could bring additional couple of inches, especially in the far southern suburbs. So where we're looking at the snow, again, just around the lake late tonight, even into your overnight a few scattered flurries out there. Then high pressure builds in briefly for Wednesday, giving us a little bit of sunshine, but it is only brief. And then the next storm system comes through, brings in the heaviest snowfall into central Illinois and also central Indiana. But of course, like if you're in Kankakee, um, Grundy County, a little bit farther to the south, you can actually see a couple of inches of snow. And then there's the line. We'll have those clear skies Thursday night and those temperatures will be falling back. It'll be a very cold Friday with temperature highs only in the single digits. So a little bit of snow out there for the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. Heaviest snowfall again farther to the south. They could get several inches. Kansas City looks like it gets nailed along with Grand Island to close to 7 or over 7. But just minor accumulations for us tonight around the lake with a few scattered flurries, 15 to 19. So a pretty cold night tonight as those winds are out of the north northwest. And then, yes, high builds in. We'll have some sunshine. Temperature 22 to 26 with the winds out of the west northwest. And the seven-day forecast shows 20s on Thursday, mid-20s few light snow showers in the morning, then very cold Arctic air, Friday's high just 8 with overnight lows uh, below 0, and then for the weekend, cold 14, with a little bit of some light snow, Bears game 26, and some light snow, we're keeping some snow in the forecast even for Monday and Tuesday, but at least we got a little bit better when it comes to temperatures. I'm meteorologist Duffy Atkins in the WGN Weather Center, where it is definitely weather.